In this video, we will talk about how to use a sample to determine the outcome in a population. The first thing we're looking at is this circle graph. It says the circle graph shows the outcome of a survey you conducted. You asked 75 randomly chosen students how many movies they watch each week. So based on this circle graph, this is the outcome of those 75 students. The next part says there are 1,200 students in the school. So this would be like the population of the school. Predict the number of students in the school who watch one movie each week. So the first thing we're going to do is to help us is to set up a proportion. Remember, this question is asking watching one movie each week. So I'm just going to focus on the portion that talks about one movie. One movie a week is 21 people out of the 75 people I have surveyed. Once I have 21 out of 75, then I'm ready to do, to apply that to the population. We know that there are 1,200 total students in the school, but we don't know how many out of 1,200 like to watch one movie each week. So the second part of my proportion will be X over 1,200. So my proportion is set up to be 21 out of 75 is how many out of 1,200. Now we're ready for step two. Step two says to cross multiply. So I'm gonna take the numbers 21 and multiply by 1,200. If I type that into the calculator, I get 25,200. The last step will be just to divide. And what we're gonna divide by is that number we haven't multiplied by yet, the 75. So I'm gonna take 25,200 and divide by 75 and I get 300. 36. So out of this total students population of 1,200, 336 of those students watch one movie a week. 